One of the most common questions I receive for crochet patterns is how to crochet in the row ends of a piece. Today I'm going to show you how to do that on a couple different swatches. I have one made in single crochets, one and a half double crochets, and one in double crochets. All of them are going to use the same technique but slightly different because of the, the height of the stitches. For each of the samples I will show you how to work a round of single crochets. You can do the same technique using any stitch, whether the pattern calls for a half double crochet or a double crochet or a single crochet or a combination of different stitches. Make sure you follow the pattern's directions. However, whenever you get to a corner, you're going to work more than one stitch to carry you around that corner. So for today's sample, I will work two stitches in the last stitch when you go across the row. Here is my single crochet, crochet swatch. I've already worked a row across the top for my beginning row of my border and two single crochets to turn that corner. So if you look at the rows closely, you'll have a row where it ends on a single crochet and then ends on a chain and then a single crochet and a chain. And the rows ending with a single crochet, just place your hook right through the middle of the stitch and complete another single crochet. And then on the next row with the chain space, just insert your hook around that chain space and single crochet there. Then in the stitch, and then the chain space. Essentially, you're going to work one single crochet per single crochet row. For the half double crochet swatch, I've already worked my row of single crochets on top and then I've turned my corner. Now half double crochet stitches are taller than single crochets. So we're going to work three stitches for every two half double crochet rows. The way I determine this is I work one single crochet in the side of the half double crochet. So we'll just go into that half double crochet right there, just like you did on the single crochet. And then you're going to work two half double crochets where you chained for your turn. I find it easiest to work into the base of that stitch right here, the first one, and then work around that chain, the turning chain, just like you did in the single crochet. Let's do a few more on that half double crochet row end. So you're going to work one in the half double crochet, one in the base of the half double crochet, and then one in that turning chain or around the turning chain. Again, one in the side of the half double crochet, one in the base of that stitch, and then one around the turning chain. And that gives you a nice row edge. Again, that's three stitches for every two rows. For my double crochet swatch, again I have worked a row of single crochets across the top and two in the corner to turn. For double crochets, you're going to work two single crochets in each row end. So on this swatch, I ended on a chain to turn. So I'm going to work a single crochet in the first chain, work a single crochet in the second chain. So there's two for that first row end. Now we want to work two more single crochets in the next row end, which is a row ended on a half double crochet, or sorry, we're ended on a double crochet. So put your hook right through the middle of that stitch and work a single crochet, and then put your hook through the middle of the bottom section of the stitch and work another single crochet. Again, work two single crochets in that chain turning chain, so go right through the first chain, work your single crochet, and then through the bottom chain, and work your single crochet, and then the next row is ends on a double crochet, so insert your hook through the middle of the top section, and then through the middle of the bottom section of that stitch. Continue that across all row ends. And there you have it, how to crochet around the row ends of all of these pieces. 
There are some exceptions, so always make sure you follow the crochet pattern that you're working on. If you have a combination of half double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet rows, you're going to have to alternate how many stitches are worked along those row ends to get to the, uh, the correct stitch count. Sometimes you may have a stitch or two off if a pattern states to have an exact number of stitches. And then sometimes you just need to squeeze in and hide a double or an extra crochet in one row end or eliminate a crochet uh, stitch in one end to get the cor correct uh, amount of final stitches. But in general, this is a good rule of thumb and will help you uh, master the crocheting in the row ends of your crochet piece. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.